This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. Harsh truth that men learn too late about women, which really goes well with the whole sex issue. For a lot of women, the experience trumps the content. So I want to say that again, right? He said he's talking about the experience trumping the content. What does that mean? Let's let's listen to him talk. All right. Here's what I mean by that. And let me start off with an example. So for a lot of women, they can go to an event. Let's say it's a women's empowerment event. It has decorations. It has pictures. It has all this. The ambiance is amazing. It has all these wonderful things that enhances the experience. When you get down to the content, the actual meat of the message, they literally could have walked away learning nothing new. <laughs> okay. But because the experience was so amazing, they still enjoyed themselves. Now that's an interesting note, right? Like for him to say, and I've seen this before where women will go to conferences and there'll be like a two or three day conference. And you know, you go there, the decorations are up, the DJs blasting some music, there's vibes going, women are on stage crying and whatever. And the whole thing is just like this emotional like experience for them. And yet it's not that they wouldn't have content that's there, but it could have literally been content that they could have gotten from a book. Like the number of gurus that, for example, they'll sell like a book that's like $4, right? And then women will be convinced off these books and off these YouTube videos or whatever to go to these conferences. Well, they'll pay three, five, ten thousand $10,000 to go there to get the same content that they could have gotten for $4 from a book because there are going to be other people there. There's going to be live stuff. And there's going to be prizes given out. There's going to be all this music. And there's going to be people there that they might not be able to see live. And so women will pay and guys will too, but like women will pay like a bunch of money. Why? To be involved in the experience, to not miss out on an event that she knows other people that she knows are going to go to, you know? And so the experience of that, the vibe she's able to feel, how that makes her feel as a woman, that stuff is way more important than the content. Now, as a guy, that is probably a very frustrating thing because I know myself as a guy, like, for example, when I go to church, the, the times that I go to church, pe people are there and they're singing, there's choir chap cl uh, clapping along and they're like trying to do all these prayers and touching hands and snap. And I'm literally like, I just want to go there. I want to hear their preacher preach for 30 minutes and then I want to go home. I'm going there for the message. Darn what the building looks like. Darn what the songs sound like. I want the message that I came for and then I want to go home. And that I find is a lot of guys, not all guys, but there's a good portion of guys where it's like, but what's the content? Like all this stuff is whatever, but it doesn't matter. I just want to know is the content that I'm going to get be worth my time. And this is a huge difference in chasm that is difference between men and women, which is an important thing for you as a guy to know. Here's why. Let's continue on. They, they take pleasure in the details. They take pleasure in creating that overall experience. Another example I'll use. I remember seeing a girl on Twitter saying, you know, she wants a man who's going to take her out on a date. Then they go dancing. Then they go home and make love and all this stuff. Right. What she was really saying is she wants the experience that that whole going to dinner, being romance, all these things, that experience is what actually makes her be more open and receptive sexually. And it actually will allow her to enjoy the sex more, even though the actual sexual content itself may not be anything amazing. Yeah, I forgot. So this video is primarily talking to guys as it pertains to like why it is that some women start to lose their libido or aren't uh, as prone to want to be with them sexually as much as they'd like to be. Right. But everything he's saying here is absolutely correct. Like the whole thing about when he, he says, you know, women will say things like, I just want a guy that's going to like wine me and dine me and a guy that I can go to and cry when I'm feeling sad and somebody eat to eat dinner with. Very rarely are women saying, I want a guy that I can have a stimulating conversation with. I want a guy that's going to tell me all about his job and tell me about the things he sees in the future and talk to me in a specific type of tone and style. Like, even though there is a level of that, like they definitely want a person whose conversation they can enjoy. But when I talk to women about like experiences they've had, they'll be like, oh yeah. And then, you know, I went on the date with this guy and, you know, we had a conversation, but he took me to this place and did this thing, blah, blah, blah. Like 
the details of the conversation rarely come up in when they're telling me about their experience. What they're telling me about is the ambiance of the place, what the guy was wearing, how tall he was, a funny thing he said that made her laugh, the kind of drink that they had, how he smelt so good, what he was doing that made her just fall head over heels in love. Like it's rarely, oh, but he had this kind of conversation and said he worked at this place and this thing, thing. Like, and even if on the internet today, women will have you believe, well, I need a guy that can stimulate my mind with intellect and blah, blah, blah. I was a guy that was in honors classes and had a pretty, I was pretty ahead above most of my peers. I can assure you my oh so smart intellectual conversation was not winning over. You know, it was the times that I was funny, the times that I made them laugh, the times that I was able to put on a nice suit and smell good. Those are the things that got me a lot better results than talking educationally about X, Y, and Z and the things I find like that stuff is fine to have, but it's not the overall thing that women are looking for. So what he's expressing is women are coming into the space and saying, I want to have the experience that's going to make me feel like I'm connected to this person. Not, I want to have an, an intellectual dialogue that's going to stimulate my brain to where I'm like, oh, he logically makes sense for me to want to date. And that's where most guys get annoyed because most guys are like, you know, you know I've, done, I've done it too, so I'm not calling anybody out. I wouldn't call myself out, but like going on a date thinking, okay, a woman needs to know where I'm from, what my family life's like, and she needs to know like the 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 what my credit score is like and the kind of car. Like we we go on dates thinking, I got to spill out all these factual things about myself in order for her to analyze that and make a decision. Part of why I say it takes a woman two to three months to solidify her feelings is she needs two to three months to develop what it's like to have the experience of you being around. And she's not going to get the fullness of that in a first date. It's going to take her time to have an abundance of experiences with you that are pleasurable before she decides this is the guy for me. But the whole experience was. So when you understand that as a man and you learn how to enhance the experience, you can make everything feel better for her all right so even if you're going to do something special for her let's say you want to uh take her on a special vacation this is why pay attention when, when women try to do something nice and extravagant for a man it's all these details and all this extra stuff that we may not even care about <laughs> yep you know what i realized that many many years ago um so when i give out gifts right when i give out gifts for christmas or for birthdays Amongst my family members, they just know the fact that I bought the gift at all is more important than what I wrap it in. So I will literally give my brother, my mom, my cousins like, oh, I, I put this in a, in a random box that I found here. Or, oh, I just wrapped some some paper around it and here some newspaper and here you go. You know, and, you know, my family, I'm not trying to date them. So my family, they're like they, they understand at this point what I'm about. And so. They're just happy they got the gift. It is what it is. But what I noticed when I started dating and like was, was going long term to what was going into like holidays and birthdays was that every girl that I dated, when it came time to give me a gift, it would be like the, the most outstanding looking bag that they could have gotten from like Target or Walmart. It'd be full of this frilly paper. It would have a nice scent to it. And so I was like thinking to myself, I, I don't need all this. Like I'm if they had just said, oh, by the way, here, I'd have been totally fine. But what were these women doing? They were creating the experience of the gift. They were uh, creating like, like um, the unknown and the mystery of it. And, oh, he's going to pull it out and be so surprised. And I want to see that feeling when he doesn't know what it is when you just hand it to him, you know? And so after a few relationships, I, I learned, okay, if I'm giving a gift to a woman that I'm dating, the logical brain side of me is like, the only thing that matters is the content of this gift, Right. But the reality is that I got far better results and uh, reactions from women when I would dress up these gifts in a nice bag, when I would take time to actually wrap it in a present. And I found that they liked that a lot more because, again, they recognize, oh, I'm putting effort into this. I had to think about what they would like as the bag or as the, the, um, the wrapping, in addition to also thinking about the gift. So it works on a variety of levels that equates the woman as, oh, my God, he's giving me the experience of getting this gift. And that's when I really started to understand the importance of, OK, women really the, the content is great, guys. But the experience, you know what? Let me pull this down for a second. I will prove this, all right? So let me just do this real quick here. So hold on a second here. Let me get to my settings. Um, let's see, go to here. Okay, so be prepared, guys. You ready for this? All right, check this out. This is my backdrop. This right here. This is my green scheme, right? So whereas before, 
you had the impression that I was in front of, I mean, you probably, you guys probably knew it was green screen, but like you had the impression like, oh, there's books, there's a shelves. That background conveys a certain image that I'm trying to project to you guys when I'm doing shows. Now, if I were to say, do this backdrop, now I'm in a studio, right? So now it's like, am I, it would make no sense for me to be talking about dating stuff in a recording studio. I should be talking about like music or like other things that pertain to like, you know, hip hop or whatever, you know, oh, oh, Kendrick and Drake. Oh my God. Like that would make sense in front of this backdrop, right? It would make so much sense for me to be like, hey guys, welcome to the Introvert Dating Success Show from my recording studio. Unless I was talking about the music I was making, you know? Uh, by the way, uh, Kevin Samuels was right. Get the album at the website. Anyway, so suffice to say, this shows you guys, depending on the background that I have, you're going to get a different feeling for the experience that you're now having based on what's behind me, right? And so guys do get on some level that the we're, we're here to, we're, how we're enjoying a thing, it really is dependent upon the experience being created for us, you know? And so when you as a guy are trying to impress women, you got to be mindful that just like this backdrop here, you're going to have a different feel for what's going on based on what I decided to put back there. So what you're bringing to the table with women is going to be very, very important for their experience. This is why, you know, for example, on a first date, right? A lot of guys get bummed out about, oh, I got to spend all this money. It's not even about the money, but usually the money that's going to be spent equates with the kind of backdrop or the kind of ambiance you're going to be giving a woman on a first date. And so when you're just like, let's just meet at some any old coffee shop, like a, like a, a coffee shop, like a, uh, like a Starbucks or, or coffee bean or whatever. Well, women are going to look at that and be like, I mean, I want to meet you guy and I, I get it. We're just here to talk or whatever, but those places are, are low key kind of like mid, like a Starbucks. There's other people there. Conversations can be heard. It's not intimate. And so some of you guys are thinking the women aren't dating you because of the money. It's about she's looking at the experience you're trying to create. And they're thinking, no, like I'm going to get dressed up for this and put some heels on or wear some makeup for you to take me to a coffee shop. Like, no, no, no. Now I've taken women to places that have a nicer ambiance and still don't cost all that much. You know, I've done like pizza places where I can split a pizza with a girl for $25. You know, I can take her to like a uh, PF chains and we just get some appetizers or drinks, but the bar looks really nice. There's music playing. There's low level light, which swear the guys low level light. It causes our pupils to dilate and it makes women think that we're more attractive than we actually are. So you got to look at when you're asking women on dates, what's the experience you're putting forth to her that's going to make her decide if she wants to even go with you on this date or just be like, huh? Because like the, like the guy said, women are going to be paying for experiences on their own accord that they're going to be making sure everything's nice. When women plan vacations for themselves, they are planning everything down to the T. They're planning the three different outfits they're going to wear, what the colors are going to be. They're looking at every single hotel, if it has a bathroom in it or not, or if you got to share with other people, they're looking at what do the trees look like outside the window? Like these are things that guys are just like, look, we'll talk, if I go backpacking in another country, I go to a hostel. I'm caring about the content of the trip, which is I'm going to go hiking. I'm going to go eat some places when I, where I rest my head. It should be of no concern because I, I'm going to be doing most of my stuff outside the hotel. That is very guy logical thinking versus women are like, well, when I get back, I want to have a, a bubble bath to sit in. And I want to be able to go to the hotel restaurant and have some nice ambiance there. Like they're going to be thinking about stuff on that level, you know? And so they're hoping that the guys that they're going out with and saying yes to are going to create experiences for them. Just like, uh, this guy. Just like this guy did, where it's like the whole experience of that first kiss was like, he's being playful with it. He's touching her on the face. He's about to run away and leave her with lost hope. And then she runs back to her and says, oh, and makes a movie moment for her that she gets to capture on film and see for all time. Like this dude did everything he needed to do to create the experience of that perfect first kiss. And some of you guys are just like sitting there like, okay, it's been like two hours on this date. I'm going to lean in and kiss her. You're not creating an experience. There's no transitions for her to be able to, to build up to that feel of wanting that. And that could be another reason why you're losing out. But I digress. Continue. We're not even paying attention to that because to us, it boils down to the content most of the times. What's the meat of this? But for her, it's all this other stuff. And so sometimes when men try to do something nice for their girl and they, they miss hugely on the experience, they're frustrated with the fact that maybe she's not as excited or happy with it. So it's almost like uh, another example I'll use is a man proposing. If you just had a ring and said, here, here's the ring, let's get married, right? Even though you're still proposing, even though the plan is still to get married, you ruined the experience. 
You know what I'm saying? You didn't add anything to the experience to make it memorable and more enjoyable. Being mindful of that is going to help you win a lot of points. Yeah, guys. So, and this is the thing too, right? Like women are always going to be judging you mostly on the effort she feels you're putting forth in things. The, 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 the amazing part is it's not really all that hard to create um, an experience for women with you that's going to make them, that's going to make you stand out. And it's going to make her feel like you are the guy that she wants unequivocally because you know how to make her feel things that no other guys do. So as a guy, how can you then go about being able to do a better job of creating experiences for women that's going to draw them to you. So to start off with, guys, very, very important, get your grooming up. Like, again, women are going to show up on dates with you. At the very least, having done some minimal makeup to make their face look fresh, they're going to try to put their best foot forward. Like in that clip, that 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 girl had a, had a nice little uh, flowery dress on and a nice little sweater because she was trying to give off femininity. She was trying to push to this guy, hey, I'm a woman and I, th I want you to find me pretty and desirable. She was doing her part, right? I imagine he was doing his part as well. But suffice to say, guys, so yeah, you come to a date and wearing like a wrinkled shirt, or just some sweats and a sweatpants. So this starts with things like your grooming habits. This starts with things like, what are you wearing on dates? This starts with things like when you're picking a certain environment. This starts with things like simple things like having your car cleaned, having your place ready to go because on the off chance that she wants to come back to your place for a nightcap, your room's not messy. Your place doesn't smell weird. The number of places I go where like the guy's place is unkempt and it smells weird. And like, how are you getting girls to come here? The answer is they're not because they're not being mindful that when women come to your spot, they're going to want to experience an experience there too. You know, whether it's like you have classy music on versus you're playing a bunch of like hardcore rap stuff, or you have like, you know, an elegant wine versus like you got like Mike's Heart Lemonade. You know, these things are going to give her insights into the kind of guy you are and the kind of experiences you're going to be willing to give to her, you know? And so these are things that are very fixable. You going from like, hey, I'm going to wear a wrinkly shirt to I'm going to just press iron a shirt. That makes a really big difference for women. You know, you being able to slow down your speech a little bit, you being able to go on dates and chew with your mouth closed and be able to, you know, like talk to the waiter in a positive way and be able to do things to make her laugh. Like these are simple things you can do as a guy that are going to allow her to have a better experience with you. And we want that, you know, now part of the building experience also comes after the date, a lot of the stuff I talk about on these shows, like not contacting her between dates and making sure that you're only using the phone to ask for dates and not trying to see her all the time. These are things that create um, desire to see you. They build up anticipation. Well, guess what, guys? The experience of anticipating seeing you is also an experience that women need to go through because it, let's say the content of that would be if you're just like, yes, I already like you and I'm going to contact you every single day because I don't want to play games and blah, blah, blah. You're now not giving her an experience of that, that she needs in order to like you. The experience of mystery, the experience of not knowing you're going to call, the experience of anticipation, you know? These are things that if you're not creating them as a guy, then you are seriously causing a lot of women that would date you to lose interest because that experience is very vital and necessary in order for them to build attraction to you faster, okay? So take what this guy said at heart, which is that ultimately at the end of the day, guys, yes, who you are as a person it's very important, and you do want to talk about some of those things in the course of going on a date, but at the end of the day, more so than the things you're talking about, what's going to be extra important is the experiences that you are creating for these women that you're going out with. So you got to ask yourself the question, are you currently in the habit of creating experiences that most women want, or are you showing up on dates in a way giving women experiences that they don't want. If you are a guy that's going sh showing up on dates and you're nervous and you're anxious and you're over-talking her and you're not asking her questions, you're not making her laugh, you're showing up in bummy outerwear, you're being stingy about the kind of money you want to spend, even though you're the one that's picking a place, but the places you pick also suck, then you are probably a guy that's not creating the kind of experiences on average that most women want. And what we want to do is have you be able to create the kind of experiences for women that are going to have them coming back for more to where you get to choose which one you pick versus them being like, ugh, not this guy again. I'm out of here. <laughs>